lot of hands go up right there. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't crack a smile. All right. <coughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to have fun anyway, but praise God. To break away from just authority, I got to thinking about that. Really, seriously, because um, when, when you're offended um, in the church, any of y'all know anybody that got offended that was in church and, and kind of went a different direction? Quite a few of y'all know, know somebody like that, that that's happened to. It's a tragic thing. I'm going to read this again. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. What was it that offended my brother that made him rebel against the church? I want to tell y'all something. I struggle with this. I struggled with this for uh, probably about near two weeks now, Brother Will, uh, since Brother Will asked me to come and, 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 and minister to y'all. And uh, last week, Brother Nick Mahaney was down preaching downstairs, and so it, uh, we didn't have youth, youth class. And I just really struggled. I really struggled. So I want, I want you to know something tonight. God's got a word for you here. Amen. You hear me? Even if you don't, if, if, if you listen, God wants to speak to your heart. He wants to tell you something tonight from his word. He wants you to get a hold of this because the enemy has fought me on this. And I want you to understand that this is for each and every one of you in here. There's something that you need to get a hold of here tonight. I want to talk to you about getting offended for a little while. Amen. What was it that offended my brother or my <laughs> sister that made him or her rebel or break away from the church? What was it that was so bad that he broke away from just authority? And we know that even some of you that have been brought up in, in, in the church, you know that, that this, is, this is righteousness, this is holiness, this is truth. And those three things right there are, are an integral part of, of your, your mom and dad's life. Uh, righteousness and holiness and truth. Those three things right there, they are vital to your walk with God. Because first of all, God is a righteous God. He is a just God. He always does what's right. Righteousness means doing right. Justice means He is very just in what He does. And truthful, God does not lie. And so we're supposed to emulate Christ, right? I mean, be like Him, speak like Him, act like Him, walk like Him, talk like Him, dress like Him, because He was God, robed, manifest in the flesh. We're supposed to be like Him. And so in our walk uh, of life, we, we, we have times that we, uh, we, 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 we see people that, that, uh, that, that get offended in church and they... They fall away. They, they break out of the church. They, they break away from that just authority. Let me tell you something right now. If, if God doesn't have supreme authority in your life, you need to make sure that you get that way. Because Amen. all of us know that he's coming very soon. Yes. The signs are here. There's no question about it. The prophecies are coming to pass. Uh, almost day by day. If God doesn't have supreme authority and just rule over your life, you need to, I want to check yourself. Amen? Amen. So what was it that the, that the man was talking about here uh, when he said a brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city? We've already known that we, we, a lot of us, most of us know that we know somebody that has been offended in the church. And I come across so many people that have given up on God because they got hurt in the church. I say, Brother Cox, what does that mean to me? I'm just a young person. Just hold on. Bear with me for a little bit, okay? I work in the public and... And you'd be surprised at how many people I come across that, that know what apostolic means. It would blow your mind if you really knew how many people I come across just in the general public that say, yeah, my mama raised me Pentecostal. I know what that holiness stuff is about. 
I know what that speaking in tongues is about. Really, I've come across so many people, but they say, yeah, I'm a preacher. I got hurt because I'm a preacher. And so I quit going to church. Or they say, yeah, there's this guy up there, and he, he, uh, he did something that it just, you know, it just flew all over me, and I left, and I never turned back, never went back. Or sister so-and-so, she, uh, she, she did something, and, and it hurt my feelings. And I just can't believe she did that, and I left. I just gave up. I just never went back to church. I know people like that, y'all. I know people that, that that has happened to. And they go out and they go out into the world and they give up on God. And guess what? Guess what happens out in the world? They get hurt. They get offended. People run them over. Oh, you think you got run over in the church? <laughs> you just wait till you get run over out in the world. They really don't care. It's twice as bad. It's ten times as bad when somebody out in the world robs you of all that you have. When the protection of the Lord is off of your life and you're left to the elements because you turn your back on God. Oh, come on, I'm speaking to somebody right now. Listen to me. Listen to me, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth walking out on God. This world is going to hurt you worse than anybody in the church ever could hurt you. Mm, my goodness. Do they quit living for the devil when the world hurts them? I think that's a pretty good question to ponder. Just because they got hurt in the church... They turn their back on God, but they get hurt out in the world, and they don't turn their back on the world. Man, I know it's quiet in here right now. I think we're doing some good. You think about it. You think about it. If you're thinking about giving up on God, listen to me, friend. This world is a wicked place. This world is a wicked place out there. This place is called the sanctuary. You know what a sanctuary is? A sanctuary is a place of safety. A sanctuary is a place where you can go when you're in trouble. There's not a sanctuary in the world. Well, people call the bar their sanctuary. But what's in the bar really? Crooked people. Deceit. Lies. Death in a bottle. Drunk driving. DUIs. Misery. Broken relationship after broken relationship. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm a little bit too heavy tonight. <laughs> maybe I'm a little bit too... Uh... People give up on God, but they, they won't give up on the devil. There's something wrong with that picture. There's something wrong with that. Listen to me. It's not worth getting offended. Jesus said, I come to give you peace. He said, not as the world gives it. Not as the world. The world will offer you some peace. The world will offer you some things that you might, they might suffice you for a little while. But the end of that peace is going to leave you bitter. It's going to leave you broken. And it's going to leave you in a life of destruction. Jesus said, the peace that I give you is going to be perfect peace. The peace that Jesus gives is a peace that lasts for a lifetime. It's the peace that keeps on giving when everybody else has turned away, when everybody else has turned their back, when there's nobody left. Jesus is still there, and he still gives you the peace that you need to sustain you through that day. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Peace I give unto you. I'm going to read this proverb again. A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city. And their contentions are like the bars of a 